welcome back to CBH 4K, and this is Xenonauts 2. We're the chosen. No, no, no. Uh, this is developed by Goldhawk Interactive and published by Word Horse Games. Um, this has been an interesting game I've been watching. Uh, it just came out on early access. I would strongly recommend you get it because it's on sale. I don't know for how long, but I think the sale ends sometime before August, so I would definitely get on top of it. Roadmap. There's a tutorial here, and there's like a list of other things. But um, from the roadmap, this is just basic stuff that's not done yet. They've done pretty much everything else in the game. So they've more or less completed the early game, mid game, and the tutorial stuff here. They're just looking at the end game stuff here, and uh, maybe some uh, revamps to some of the combat for air of the aerial persuasion. Um, and uh, some additional maps, some mining tools, and I'm guessing some other quality of life stuff. But yeah, mostly end game stuff. Yeah. I say we just begin. You don't need that. You don't need no stinking tutorial. Is this lizard just a soldier? Uh, you can skip it. Skip it. I should have put the introduction on. Oh well. This isn't like a long-term playthrough. We're just gonna mess around for a bit until we get into a uh, combat mission, and then we're just going somewhere in the middle of the combat mission. I'm not gonna play the whole thing. Uh, I'm just gonna play a little quick sample. If you guys like it and you want me to play some more. I'm going to space continue. Then, uh, may I suggest you go ahead and put that in the comment section so you want me to play continue. Or, better yet, hit a button, get a like on this uh, video. The more likes there is to it, the more I'm willing I'm, the more willing I'm going to be to play it some more. Right now, I I, I don't I don't say I'm not interested in playing it for the channel. It's just that the channel, we have other things I'm playing on the channel right at the moment. So, You probably think I'm going a little too fast here, but not really. I'm letting you guys pause it. Because I know some people just want to see the gameplay and they don't want to really care about the story. <laughs> they don't really care about the story, even though you should care about the story. Let's start somewhere. Start somewhere here. And uh, not, uh, not, not here, not there, not there. Here, 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 here. Let's put it right here. Call Euro Base. Mm hmm. We'll assign a research. Let me start that. Um, we hire scientists, but that's fine. We're, we're, we're good. We don't need no defender armor. There's not much we can do right now. Okay, we have a couple of ships. That's the overall look of the base. That's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good, Rabbit. Pretty good. Mm hmm. Let's build a medical center. Oh, let's put it right here. Run the barracks. That way people go all the way to the barracks. Uh. Do we want a training center? Because honestly, I don't really. I don't really care if we have a training center. Honestly, I. Uh, 
Yeah, let's put a training center right there. We can put a couple more hangers in here. But no. Again, this is just... We're just experimenting today. It's day one. stuff in this we got a shield guy we got a shotgun person okay oh it's gonna be nighttime too yeah it's gonna be fun for me fun for me. So basically the goal of this video was just to announce that this game's in early access. Now I'm more of the and to show off a bit of the gameplay so you guys can get an understanding of what you're gonna be in for if you buy purchase the game. Now you're probably wondering well I was about to say, well, you could get some voice actors in here, but I think it's better if we don't have voice actors. Oh. Voice actors are a little bit indulgent in this sort of game like this. Like... Mm-hmm. Now, I could tell you. Okay. All right, so you're going to... Now, much like regular XCOM, you have turns. And you can move all your soldiers on your turn, but unlike XCOM, your turns are not based on just a two uh, move points system. You actually have TUs. Now, TUs is very, very different. As you are given a set amount of things you can do on a turn based on the TUs you possess. And that guy does not have... Okay, you do not have that many TUs left, so let's just have you rambo over here. Okay, you have a shotgun. Let's try to check out this area. And let's have you crouch. Yeah, That's four TUs to have you crouch. See so you right here in the corner. Now... Now, okay, we can, uh, this is a nightmare. This is, this be like, okay. Hopefully nobody's on this side. Because you are dead if they are. Get crouch. Can't make a good shot from here. Uh, that, was a, that was a pretty bad miss. Just leave this area. Do we send? I say we send our shotgun person up here. She takes a look around. She takes a knee. She chills out right there now. Alright, we took our first alien. Got an achievement for it. Alright. 
Good job, Xenonaut Squad. So my Xenonaut Sniper is better than my XCOM Snipers, I'm just saying. They wouldn't have been able to make that shot on their first missions. Okay, let's just enter. So, you don't need to play Xenonauts 1 in order to get this game, because it's basically them redoing Xenonauts 1, because, well, they probably thought they could do a better job. There were some problems with Xenonauts 1 that people pointed out. Um, stopping on. Okay, well we can get down there. We're checking over on the side. What the heck is that? I don't know. Okay. That's 24... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I can't get mad at the alien. The alien had every right to. You know what? Just, just take, take a turn over here. Uh, Try and save her life as best you can. Wow. That was a stun grenade. That was, that was, yeah, smoke grenade. He'll take a turn around and try and shoot her, but uh, not much I can do about that. Okay, civilian means probably nobody over there. Well, I say probably. Kind of botched that last turn. Switch to that. 
see. Our shield uh, person should probably take the lead from now on. Other soldiers should move up. fella. Thank you for shooting that person and not my uh, soldier. Ah, oh, you ruined our lance ship. This guy doesn't needs to make up his mind. Like, he's all over the place right now. He's literally all over the place. Could just hop this fence. Yeah, like a boss. Okay, so that guy died. Nobody could stop it or, or undo it. I mean, I could have risked somebody's life, but no. <laughs> no, I already lost a soldier. Through building silly. squad uh, and we might send uh, the shield guy in around the turn just take him to turn around oh. for the turn. Alright, we have a problem here. We can't just... some grenades down. I think we got him. I, uh, I definitely think we got him. send our sniper out too far, but should be clear, because aliens would have shot that dude already if he wasn't. Am I using the um, civilians as canaries in the coal mine here? Always lead me a sniper. They can never go wrong. I don't care what anybody says.
Okay, how much does it take to fire? Right, well, it's true. There we go. Everyone take your time, just run up in there. All right, let's think about this for a second. There's like multiple enemies here. Multiple still alive. Okay, well. So you all run in different angles. That way, if something goes wrong on one angle, we don't have the other angles to come in and help out. Okay. Messing around with control. Oh. I think I might have detected our last alien. Huh. I think I definitely might have detected him. I was trying to shoot my sniper in the back, you jerk. They're gonna redo air combat. Air combat was one of the sticky subjects, and I kind of agree with it. Because every time I saw somebody do air combat on a Let's Play or anything like that, they just auto resolved it. They didn't even play it. Even though it was a more detailed and better uh, implemented air combat than XCOM, it was, it was also a lot more tedious. So. Xenonauts 2 uh, was pretty good. It's, I would say it's like old school XCOM if you haven't ever played the old school XCOM games. It's similar to that uh, with a little bit of a modern t tweaking and upgrades. It's sort of like Xenonauts 1 was that too, but I feel like Xenonauts 2, they put more emphasis in the presentation and it shows. Uh, they added a new... Um, a new threat called the cleaners we didn't get to see that but they are prevalent in the game i find that fascinating um down to different tech levels they have different things to unlock here i'm actually quite curious and i'm probably gonna play more off camera all right i'll see you guys in the next one take care